And here we go into Murky Hunter Gardens, I suppose. Yeah, I, like I always say this, well, I don't know if I always say it, but like I have said, there's supposed to be like a loading screen there between the, um, the, in the during that black screen, and uh, for some reason, it just it doesn't doesn't appear on this for some reason. I don't know. It's I, it's not a video glitch because it doesn't appear when I'm playing it either. So I don't know what the deal is. Maybe if I wasn't recording with fraps, it might show it. I'm not too sure. I don't really I don't think I've played this game lately unless I've been recording it. I don't think I've well I, I did um a sp couple speed runs of it back in like I year seven. I'm a speedrunner 7 for those of you who don't know. You can find that at youtube.com forward slash I'm a speedrunner 7. That happened like almost two years ago now. Uh, that's incredible. I can't believe 2012 is two years ago. I can't believe we're in 2014. That just... That's just unheard of. I'm, I'm not too, like, too upset. No, no, not upset, but I'm not too, um, like, uh, wowed out by the fact that it is 2014. When we get to 2015, then... Come and tell me, because, you know, growing up as a kid, watching Back to the Future, uh, Part 2, you know, a few times, often, they, they portray 2015 as, like, this crazy, like, far-out, futuristic, um, time period, and say, say if you're in the year 2004 or something and you're watching it, Back to the Future Part 2, that is, you look at it and you say, okay, it's, well, nothing looks like that nowadays, but that's still 11 years away. Look at... 1990 and 2001, look at the massive technological differences in those time periods. And, uh, I mean, it's not impossible to assume that that might be what the world looks like in 2015. But the closer and closer we get to it, the more you find out, no, I don't think we're going to have hoverboards. I don't think they'll have a 3D holographic Jaws, even though it looks terrible, you know. I don't think we're going to have Cafe 80s. Well, I suppose we do have Cafe 80s, don't we? And I suppose everything is trying to rip off the 80s. Especially all the movies you see these days. I'm very happy, actually, in the Oscars that uh, 12 Years a Slave won the uh, the Oscar for Best Picture. That deserved it. I, I saw that uh, recently. That movie... I, I walked out of that movie actually feeling something, believe it or not. You know, most movies you see these days, you don't feel anything from. And I'm gonna even use, uh, The Hobbit, you know? I saw that first Hobbit movie, I walked out, did I feel, oh yeah, this is a great movie of empowerment and, uh, adventure and that kind of thing. Yeah, I didn't feel anything from it, I felt it was just a, uh, using an existing, uh, franchise to, uh, mooch off of. I mean, uh, The Hobbit's still a good movie-ish, I suppose. I, I thought it was okay. I haven't seen the, uh, Desolation of Smarg at all, but I thought the, uh, the first Hobbit was pretty good, but yeah, 12 Years a Slave, that movie actually touched, well, it didn't touch me, I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I, I haven't been like, yes, slavery rules, and I haven't been like, affected by slavery personally myself, so I mean, it wouldn't really touch me, but it really spoke to me about how terrible the human condition really is, okay. sometimes, obviously. I mean, Brad Pitt's character is a testament, a testament to how good the human condition is, but of course, Brad Pitt was the producer on it, so I think he cast himself intentionally as the quote-unquote hero of the picture, even though he only had, like, two scenes in it. I, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, 12 Years a Slave, great, great picture. Great, uh, definitely deserved best picture. I saw a lot of crappy movies last year, and I think that one definitely stood out to me as the best I saw all year. And I also thought, thought Frozen was pretty good, actually. I saw Frozen as well. That was a surprisingly good kids' film. I wasn't expecting much from it, but uh, I was pleasantly surprised. Oh, I would say my two picks for good movies last year. Frozen was excellent, and so was uh, the other one. I did not see Dallas Buyers Club, actually. I heard that was quite good. I did not see it, though, so I can't comment on it. Must have been good if Matthew McConaughey won uh, Best Actor for that movie. But then again, I didn't see it, and I just got killed by a scorpion on the beach. Well, I suppose it's a lobster, isn't it? It's a red lobster. Could that be some corporate product placement? Maybe it is. I have a feeling it is. And But that's a scorpion. So, I, I, I don't know. I haven't been to Hawaii. I can't talk from experience. But maybe there is a uh, scorpion epidemic on the beaches of Hawaii. Who knows? Uh, uh, Gravity at the Oscars. Gravity won a ton of stuff. Unfortunately, it didn't win the important uh, ones, I didn't feel. 
Like, he didn't win Best Picture, and Sandra Bullock didn't even uh, get Best Actress, which I thought was, uh... I thought, you know, they kept cutting a, you know, panning to her, or cutting to her in the front row throughout the entire award ceremony. So I'm like, okay, yeah, she's probably gonna win. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the, uh, Academy have, you know, revealed to the production team for the, uh, Oscars that Sandra Bullock's gonna win the, uh, Oscar for best, uh, you know, performance by a feel, you know, best lead performance. But no, she didn't win. I think Kate Blanchett won for Blue Jasmine, which I haven't seen myself. Actually, a, lo a lot of movies that uh, won Oscars, I did not see. I saw The Great Gatsby, of course. That, that surprisingly only won one Oscar. I thought that would, you know, it, it seemed like one of those movies that would uh, seem a bit Oscar baitish. You know, taking a well-known um, existing idea and just uh, turning it into a movie. Those usually, film adaptations usually win a lot of Oscar. Oscar bait and that kind of stuff. Um, no, but it didn't even win Best Adapted Screenplay. Of course, uh, 12 Years a Slave thoroughly deserved that. Uh, best Adapted uh, Screenplay. Thoroughly deserved that. I, I can't speak highly enough about that movie. I think it was pure... Uh, just one of the best movies I've seen in a while, actually. Not just uh, in 2013, but yeah. That was the Oscars. Very uh, interesting movie stuff. That wasn't... Mm, not so much interesting stuff. I did press circle, didn't I? Yes, I did. Ugh. So many more levels do we have to do? Not many, I hope. Let's see, we've done... Uh, let's take... Let's refresh it. We've done Marley Beach, Hayu Valley, Pali Trail, Kapu Caves, Okeana Gardens, and Halikala Beach. Let's work inside now. Let's do, uh... Okay, I've done coal wood. Let's do Kakoki Trail. Okay. That was a weird music cue just then.